All right. So let's do a. Now that we're in phase four and we're like level 60, I guess I could do this video now where it's like a comparison of solid shaman tank to like original shaman tank if you try and play it on classic. So. Actually, this is almost the same exact thing I would do when I level up a shaman on just classic era very very close to this setup basically like elemental warding is a huge deal because like no other tanks have a 10 percent against fire frost and nature i mean you're kind of screwed with like holy and like shadow i think there's like a another uh school of magic there i'm missing but uh yeah and then reverb and then you there was this, this elemental fury like this isn't something new like it's been a thing for shaman tanks like i went spell power ellie gear and went this building like a uh, classic era on my first shaman tank and i would just not go storm strike and i'd go as far as like weapon mastery so i could like put that point in elemental fury and that does really kick ass in like uh pvp but as well as like it's you needed it at least from around the time i was playing it's like i wasn't like bwl or uh nax geared and i was like having to like keep threat against nax geared people so eventually around that time like phase four phase five i had to like ditch full uh enhancement to go into elemental fury L like half le half enhancement basically so that was like a thing definitely it's not something new people like invented in like a uh, season of discovery the whole new thing now is like the difference between sod and like enhance is now you're uncredible but you still need to like get incredible amounts of defense rating to become uncrushable so i don't know all the math there but like uh there's 3.36 uh 3.36 yes add that on to like uh the dodge here which would be uh 18.56 uh 18.56 27.56 27.52 uh 54.2 uh shit about 53 percent avoidance anyways i'm trying to do quick math in my head here uh do a little update from like last time i did like a shaman tank kind of video we've got four set from uh mc for tanking i've been using my tokens on those more than dps still got the stupid neck thing got three set of our pvp uh yeah we, we broke the, f f like, six and four set. Because, uh, we're getting more defense. So, yeah, uh, I use the Scander's Pelt as well. Because it's, like, the same. What I was using last video was, uh, Sergeant's Cloak. But it's basically the same stamina, less armor. Armor isn't a big deal to us. It's more of a thing for, uh, Warlock tanks. So, yeah, we get, like, uh, a 1% crit plus 20... Like, it's more threat, this cape, basically. So, yeah. That's our upgrade from last video. Still using the PvP thing. Uh, chest. Got our, uh... Earth Fury Wrist Guards. They've got 18 Stam plus 11 Int. We've lost, like, I think, Agility or something from the last thing that I had. Or, no, it was this. We were, uh, using Force Doctor Braces. But, uh, yeah. Actual Metal Piece. Plus, it has 5, uh, Defense. I guess it's our uh, force it. So there is that. Very big upgrade. Plus uh, five plus fire resistance. So this is something we can keep on when we go to like heat two, etc. Uh, got this recently from Anixia like a few days ago or something like that. Uh, no one needed it, and uh, it, it just has a huge amount of stamina. It's a fast dagger. It has seven defense. Like, I feel like this would be my best defensive dagger. Uh, otherwise, I would use Fist of the Fire Sworn, which is 2% block. 
and gives like a little 70 fire damage here and there. Only 10 stam though. I think there was like something else. Maybe uh, I wouldn't know. I don't. I, I wouldn't use mind fang. I might say mind fang for like an Ellie set. Yeah. Uh, still using drill bore's disc. We've got a uh, movable object and skull flame as alternatives. But yeah, no. Uh, Totem of rage. I was using this recently for like just uh, gold farming, so I could like hit harder fire shocks. Basically, easy like 30 spell power in that term uh as well like these can both be used like separately like if you're parsing go for the storm strike if like you're progressing use uh this one for the extra mana from blocking obviously like change things around and build a fire resistance set that's not what this video is about force of will seven defense that's the main reason we got this uh this is for two percent dodge because like we're gonna need it we don't well at least from how i'm thinking of it like from classic point of view like i played classic shaman tank and uh yeah that's something i'm noticing we, like we lack agility we have like all this strength and stamina gear so it's like we're not really getting as much dodge as i would normally get like on a classic playthrough uh heavy dark iron ring seven defense 20 stam 80 armor it's just an easy tank ring to pick up once you uh do enough mc band of the steadfast hero uh i think this is like a 0.5 quest that someone did and uh it was in sholo and uh yeah i was the tank for that so obviously i got this ring it's pretty good i don't think i ever got that like on hardcore or some or era i don't think i like yeah i think this is the first time i've gotten this ring on a shaman tank and of course, uh, for a set, we got these boots. I gotta put like seven stam on them and like, or is it one of these can get nine stam and what the other seven stam for my wrist and my boots. So yeah, uh, since we broke the, the four set for PVP, I, I decided I may as well put on uh Tristram leg guards. I don't know if like I'll spend the gold to put 100 like uh hp on them or like fire res i'm not quite sure on that but like it's a hybrid kind of piece of uh gear it gives like magic damage and healing defense and 34 attack power plus 13 stamina like it's a pretty good piece for shaman tanking so yeah i think even ellie shaman tanks picked that up And, uh, yeah, my belt is, like, a MC Shaman Tank tier piece. Typical 20, well, 25 stam. Uh, we also got 5 defense. We're looking at there. And plus 1 hit. This helps towards getting my 4 set. For parries, dodges, also activating shield mastery. This kind of, like, is, uh, synchronized with the 2 set as well. So your attack speed is increased by 30% for every time, uh, you dodge, parry, or block. Besides just, uh, blocking. I mean, no, no, that's from critting. So you have, a, as a tank, you're gonna get flurry more from like defensive stats than you are with the 13% crit that you have. That's normally what by default on like era, that's the only thing that would get you flurry. And uh, yeah, PVP gloves, etc. The main difference here though, like this version of Shaman tank is like, basically easy mode because like you get all these runes that make thing makes your life basically way easier and like on uh era if you're shaman tanking you're basically like batman and like you're using all your your shaman tanker rings and like all these explosives etc you're using dummies explosives and there's another thing from engineering that you're also using yeah, a, a, you're using a lot of gadget. Oh no, it's uh, from Alchemy. You're using oils of immolation for AOE. Uh, threat. Uh, it does like 50 damage every 3 seconds. Uh, I remember using those a lot. Because, yeah, I, I was thinking I might need to use them here. But no, we, we have just too much good AOE already in Sod. With the runes. Without the runes though, you actually need like consumables. You need to be an engineer need to be you need to have like money to buy all these consumes basically and get your 
oils of immolation you need your world buffs etc to like really uh make it work you're like batman but in wow as a shaman tank and class care compared to this like any average schmuck could play a shaman tank so i think i'd call that like a difference video like like obviously sod has like all these things that make life easier i just want to kind of go over the gear and like the talents the obviously the runes just make the difference there for sod and like era shaman tank but yeah i've been doing this for like a few years like i know a thing or two before uh even playing sod like this whole build i'm building is like based on like the very first shaman tank like in class era kind of build you would use in terms of like talents i mean the runes like kind of complement i can change the runes around but uh yeah same build kind of same gearing process but like we're also adding crit immunity like i forgot what uh, i was gonna add all these up to like that's definitely over 50 percent yeah 15 or 15 8 that's 23 yeah 70 uh 71 i mean wait no 50 51 50, uh, about 52 percent like avoidance plus mitigation from block parry and uh dodge with 399 I, I could get that higher if i took out my draconian shield it's like my f another fire res shield but like it has the defense on it like 10 so I get like 409 defense if I wanted to, but like that would uh, take away 2% block or something, less than 2%. Yeah, plus the block value, value. Yeah. Is that it? I feel like, yeah, that's the difference between sod and uh, normal era shaman tank, basically.